It's Fun Friday. Welcome to Camp Yarn Z. Today, we have five ideas in five quick minutes or less, so let's get started. Today's topic is all about socks. And don't forget our Socket to Summer Knit Along. Don't forget to join us on June 7th to show off your completed socks or work in progress. And join us every Monday in the live knitting studio. You can find the virtual meeting link at yarnsy.com. Number five on the list today of sock techniques, we have a method which is cuff down. This is the most traditional pattern style. The bummer about this one is that socks sometimes we knit are too long and they we lose the game of dun, 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 yarn chicken. No one out there has ever played yarn chicken, right? And run out of yarn. Now, three patterns to try if you're interested in trying a cuff down pattern for socks. Hot Fresh Now, according to Ravelry, is Spring Blossom Socks. A great beginner pattern to try is I'm So Basic Socks. And mm, that's interesting. Uh, there's a knit along starting on May 30th for the Yarrow Socks by Lisa Schmidt. And those patterns are all free. Number four on our list, which is again a method. We're gonna go with toe up on this one. The benefit is you can use almost an entire skein of yarn without having large leftovers. And the bummers, cast-ons for this particular method can be a bit of a pain. They can be a little fiddly, a little bit of a uh, uh, pain to just get on there. But once they're on, you're on. And often this toe-up method is paired with a short row heel. If you like the feel and the fit of the short row heel, then you won't have any worries there. But some people do not like the fit of a short row heel. Um, and also don't forget, you must bind off loosely with this particular method. Three patterns to try. For toe up, we have Hot Fresh Now, according to Ravelry, is the Skimmer Socks Revisited. Hmm, that's interesting, is the Kitty Ankle Socks, which are featured right there in the picture. And a great beginner pattern is the Trusty Toe Up Socks. So those are three good patterns there that are also free. And don't forget, if you enjoy our fun Fridays, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel where you can find out when we post new videos. Also, don't forget to give us a like on Facebook. It's always nice to know you're liked, right? And follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, as well as our Ravelry group, which is Camp Yarnsey. Thank you, Yarnseys, for watching and supporting us. At number three today, we have method, which is sideways. The benefit of this method is you avoid pooling when using variegated yarn. The bummer is that it might be harder to fit your foot. So what I mean by this is the foot, it'll stretch it lengthwise, and there's not as much stretch around the circumference of the foot. So probably it might be a little bit better for people with narrow feet, etc. Again, it depends upon the pattern. And here are three great patterns to try if you'd like to try to knit some socks sideways. Hot Fresh Now, you have the Pixel Socks, which are featured there in that picture. A great beginner pattern is the Sideways Socks by Elizabeth Zimmerman. Now this was published in a book called Knit One, Knit All. Um, Elizabeth Zimmerman's Garter Stitch Designs, which is available on Amazon for, I believe, approximately $31 um, at the time of this video was recorded. And a, mm, that's interesting pattern is the Moomin Land Socks. So there are three good patterns to check out. Number two, another method is two at a time. So the benefit of this is you finish both socks at the same time. So you don't have to worry about the second sock-itis. And the socks will be exactly the same length. Now the bummer, hmm, this is kind of a big bummer in a way, if you make a mistake on one sock, more than likely you probably made the mistake on the other and have twice as many stitches to take out and fix. Now, if you'd like to try this, we have a beginner pattern, two at once, two toe up magic loop socks by Knit Picks Design Team. Hot Fresh Now pattern, according to Ravelry, is the Spring Cottage Socks by Lindsay Fowler, which are featured right there in that image. And mm, that's interesting, Le Boussons socks, um, by Millennia Hemi. Hemi? And number one on our list today, we have design elements which include heels and toes. So when we're talking about heels, oh, and I don't mean him or her, but I mean the flap, the short row, or the afterthought heel. Now the benefit of the flap heel is the most common and it fits quite well. The bummer is that picking up stitches can be a pain, am I right? And here's a great pattern to try if you wanna try a flap heel, the Zix Zax Socks. Now, short row heel, the benefit here is it's quicker than a flap heel. The bummer is there's not enough depth in the heel circumference, but you can get around that by adding a gusset. Now, here's one of the challenge patterns. It's quite a cool pattern. You can see it right there to your left with a little gnome on it. Is the Zwigger Gunnos Bobstand by Ducati. 
So that pattern is quite beautiful, I will say. Um, it really, just check out the pictures on that one too. But that would be a great short row pattern if you're looking for a challenge to try. The afterthought heel, the benefit there, it continues the yarn patterning, especially it's great with stripes because it's going around the heel in circles. The bummer is that the heel is added at the end, which makes it harder to try on for size. Now, of course, the way to get around that is you can add a heel sooner. Now, the afterthought sock or the afterthought heel fits similar to a short row heel. Some people like the fit, some people don't. So again, it's a little more of a fit preference there. And a pattern to try would be the Little Boxes Socks by Summer Lee. Now, the design in my toe is you have wedge darn short row. For the wedge, the benefit is you can easily adjust the rate of the increasing and decreasing to suit your foot. Now, if Kitchener stitch is not your best friend, you could do a three needle bind off or decrease until a small number of stitches remain and then just thread your yarn tail through all those stitches at once. So there's a way around that. And a great pattern to try there is the My Favorite Vanilla Socks. Now, for the star design on the toe, this makes the toe look like more like a spiral. The increases and decreases aren't as frequent, so it's harder to adjust the length and the shape of the toe. That's the bummer. And a great one to try for patterns, Biscuit Socks by Fluffy Fibers. Now, for the short row, the toe up design requires provisional cast on. And the bummer, mm -hmm, um, or if you consider I don't, know, I don't mind the provisional cast on, but the cuff down requires a Kitchener stitch or three needle bind off. So I will say the short row is it's very similar to the wedge toe. Okay. And a great pattern to try there is the Love You Socks, which are featured right there in that picture. And don't forget, if you enjoy our five in five on Fun Fridays, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Give us a like on Facebook and you can follow us on our social media platforms. And Camp Yarns would also like to thank its 2021 a Virtual Fiber Festival sponsors, which are Yank Your Yarn Stitch Markers, Wild Stitchers, and Crazy About Yarn. For more information on our upcoming fiber festivals, as well as for our weekly events, check out yarnsy.com. And I am Lindsay Lichtenstein. I am the founding director of Camp Yarnsy. And I would like to wish you and every Yarnsy a fabulous day. Because once a Yarnsy, always a Yarnsy. Have a great day.